Hey guys and welcome back. I got a lot of emails on can you please make more videos on maps. So um, so I thought why not try and do something cool with maps. Yep. So this is what we want to do. Uh, we want to make a dynamic map that is plotting cities based on sales and um, also based on user input. So what we're going to do here is I have a slider which shows the ranking, right? And when I move the slider, now I want to see top cities per country i want it, i want the map to show those cities where the rank is well in this case 1 now it's 2 and now it's 3 so as the user changes the input based on the slider i want the maps to be dynamic and change by itself pretty cool right and also what we're going to do is we're going to see what the percentage of sales is for that particular city what the rank is and what's the percentage of sales for that city compared to sales of that country. So I think that would be super cool. I got some questions on it. So uh, I thought, why not make a video so it helps even more people, right? Let's look into it. If you're interested, stick around. All right, let's start from scratch as always. First, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, so I'm gonna drag and drop the map here. And just to verify the data, right? Um, just to see what, what what is it that we want. I'm going to add a table. Let's add our dimensions that we're interested in. So I'm going to say country, city, then I want sales amount to start with, right? Good. Next, I actually need to create a variable. Why? Because I want the user to be able to input the rank that we want. That is, we want the top ranked country. So I want the user to say, hey, I want to see the top two ranked country, uh, cities or three. So let's go to variables here and let's say create and over here let's give a name to the variable say variable rank we don't give any value to the variable because the value is what the user inputs right so we need a variable input for it so i'm going to say create done let's go into our custom objects dashboard bundle and here i have a variable input i'm going to drag and drop it here next what we're going to do is we're going to connect the variable that we just created and connect it over here so i'm going to go into my appearance here I'm going to go into variable and I'm going to select the variable that I just created. That's we rank and I'm going to make this as a slider. You could, I don't know, make it a drop down box, make it a button, whatever. Uh, I'm going to choose a slider, update on drag values, zero, put a 100, right? Um, let's make it just top five. Step one, slider, I wanted to have the label. All good. Perfect. Now let's see what is it that we're trying to plot here. Now. I have my sum of sales. I also want the rank. So here I'm going to say measure sum of sales amount, right? And this one, I want it to be ranked. So I'm going to put a rank function around it. What I really want is the top ranked for the cities based on each countries, right? So we need to aggregate. So I'm going to say aggregate it based on country, city. Perfect. So we're summing up the sales, ranking them, and aggregate that ranking across the country and the city. Apply, here we get the different ranks for that particular city for that country. For example, let's choose Australia now. We see the ranking, so Brisbane is the top. Good, now let's add what we want. That is, based on the ranking, we want the dimension, right? So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna say, hey, if the rank is actually number one, then in that case, bring in the city name. Otherwise, we don't really care about it, right? Exactly like the previous one, that is sum of sales amount, which has to be ranked. And this rank is aggregated. Good. And what we say is if the ranking for that particular city is equal to one, then in that case, bring me the city name. And I click on done. And let's see, now here, since the rank is number one, it's brought in the name of the city. It's pretty cool, right? Because now when we have the name of the city, I can use this name to actually plot it in the map. So that's exactly what we're trying to do here. But let's go one step further. And I'm just gonna copy this because I want to also do one more that is i want to see the percentage of that top ranked city based on the total sales for that particular country and how do we do that in this case instead of bringing the city name i'm just going to say hey if this is the case then calculate what the percentage of sales is so what would the percentage of sales be well it's essentially just sum of sales amount right for that particular city 
and we divide it. What do we divide it with? Um, we divide it with the total sales for that particular country. So we say sum of sales amount, but we want the total sales. And here we say country, right? Now I have, you know, if you struggle with these formulas, I have to click front end cheat sheet, have a look at that. And if you want to really upgrade your click game, check out the masterclass. People are absolutely loving it. And we go through a lot of these things that can really be helpful and can teach you something new. Good. Now I'm going to click on apply. And what really happens here, it's 0.79, which is 79%. And low Brisbane has is ranked number one. Um, it's got around 8 million. The total sales for Australia here is 10 million. So that's around 80%, right? Yeah. Don't don't hold the gun to me. I'm doing some quick guy maths here. So calculate it yourself and cross check it, okay? So we have the percentage, we have the name of the city that we're getting. So we know our basic formulas. Now what we need to do is transfer this because the name of the cities, if we put it here, we want it to plot, right? So here I'm gonna say layers, we're gonna add a layer and I'm gonna put a point layer here. I'm gonna say add and here I say city because essentially this is my, I'm plotting the city, right? Good, now all the cities are plotted. But we don't want all the cities. Actually, what we want is only the ones that are top ranked here, right? What we're going to do is we're going to go here and say, instead of city, we say that if statement that we wrote, that is, we only want the city name if the rank is the highest. So we say sum of sales amount rank, which is aggregated across country, city, and if this rank is equal to one, then in that case, I want you to bring the city name. Now, since this is a dimension here, right? I need to put this inside an aggregate because otherwise click will not bring in the dimension. So I'm gonna put this inside an aggregate um, city here, right? So we say sum of sales, rank it, aggregate it across that if the rank is one, then in that case, bring the city name. And we're putting this inside aggregates because we want it as a, a dimensional value here. So I'm gonna say apply. Good, and now you see that there is a lot fewer cities that are plotted, right? So if you actually take your, this is the little, uh, the little island of Australia. <laughs> um, and we see that this is Brisbane. That's being plotted, why? Because Brisbane is, top ranked city based on the sales. Perfect, that's exactly what we want, but not really because when I move this, nothing changes, only the top ranked is being plotted. That's not really want, uh, what we really want, right? So what we want is the user to be able to input the rank here and we have hard coded it. So let's go back here and instead of this one, we say is less than or equal to whatever the user puts in the V rank, that is the variable input. So the name of our variable was, we do a dollar expansion and we say rank. So we have replaced our hard coded one into whatever the variable input is here. So as the user drags the slider, changes the value there, this value gets updated and that many countries or cities are being pulled in. Click on apply. Good. Now when I move this, it's zero, good. When I move it to one, I see one has been plotted. I move it to two, two has been plotted, perfect. Just to cross verify, let's change this one as well. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna go in here and get and change it here as well in our percentage sales. And now since this is two, two cities have been plotted. Great, that's exactly what we want, but we can make this a little bit nicer, right? Because right now it's a bit hard to see what's happening and, in, and when you move the cursor there, you only see the names. So let's kind of make it a little bit better. I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna go in here and I'm going to go into my colors and over here I say, by dimension, good. Next, let's go into our options. Let's go into tooltip. Let's make this custom. 
let's go into our measures and over here let's say let's put the measure for the ranking right so i'm just going to go back here and copy my rank formula so it's essentially just sum of sales and rank right i'm just too lazy to do it again and again so let's go in here and add measure done and here i say rank good and we want to add another measure here that's the percentage of sales so i'm just going to go in here and the percentage of sales essentially is this particular part of it right so i'm going to go back into my layer and over here i'm going to go into options and inside tooltip i'm going to go into this is the rank that we just added add measure and over here i'm going to put in the sum of sales amount divided by sum of sales for the country but this one we need to aggregate it right so this is sum of sales but sum of sales that's aggregated for the city for that particular country so i'm going to say country and city good so you get easy access to all of these formulas in the cheat sheet so have a look at it and um, I'm going to click on apply and the name here i'm going to just say percentage per country good we have the name now let's change the number to percentage good done now when we see here we see 1.64 and 79.95 that's exactly what we got here right good so now we have actually made a super dynamic little map Pretty cool, huh? Let's make two small adjustments. Let's make dynamic labels here as well. So I'm gonna go in here in appearance in the map. I'm gonna go into general and the title. What we're gonna say is we're gonna say top ranked cities. And how many? Well, we want this rank to be based on our variable again. So I'm just gonna close this one here and make this into two different strings and attach our variable in the middle. That is, let's give it a space here. Let's give it a space here. And here we say concatenate, right? So it is an and dollar expand v rank. That is the variable name and concatenate again. Now we have top, we give it a space, bring in the value from our variable and top rank cities. I'm just gonna copy this. Now I'm going to click on apply and we see that this is zero and for the slider I'm going to do exactly the same so I'm going to go into the slider and in the slider I add rank instead of this I could say rank selected space and the value of the rank here good click on apply zero is selected zero ranked cities nothing is plotted now I move the thing and it shows me top one ranked rank selected as one two and so on and so forth voila i hope this was interesting i hope you do more cool things so if you have some more ideas just let me know that would be i want to do a lot more on mapping because i think mapping function is really cool right so all these formulas and a lot of tricks and tips for the front end is in the cheat sheet check it out and also check the masterclass. you're going to learn a lot and people are absolutely loving it Please leave a like, super, super appreciate if you leave a like and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.